good bright and chilly morning here Sag Zimbog, December 14th and it's the CBC edition of Virtually Live that's the Christmas bird count edition it is December 14th and this is our 35th is that right 35th year my 35th year of compiling this count hard to believe I'm barely older than that I must have been like five when I started strange but uh, beautiful calm day blue skies calm is the the key word here but it's cold it's got to be around zero Fahrenheit and uh, I'm starting out on Nichols Lake Road already had a big batch of uh, evening gross beaks it's an eruption year for them our record is 203 so I'm hoping with the, the six teams that are out today we can maybe get close to breaking that although Mary Lou's feeders sadly are not in the count circle you may be wondering what this chicken scratch is I just recorded 35 evening gross beaks using the I call it the quote Molly unquote method Molly Evans was my mentor at Hawk Ridge when I was a counter there and each dot is one each square with the cross in the middle is 10 so four dots then connect all four dots to equal eight the X in the middle makes 10 very efficient way of counting versus the one two three four slashes and then a cross slash to equal five and went Hawk Ridge we were dealing with huge numbers so it was much more efficient If you're familiar with Christmas bird counts, the uh, it's a 15 mile diameter circle plopped down on the map and you're kind of, res you are restricted to that area. And then you divide it up into pieces of the pie and uh, folks uh, take on their territories and find as many birds. They count not just species, but individuals as well. And our record for evening gross weeks is 203 back in 1995. Some evening gross weeks right over there. There's some cabins on by the lake here, and I think they're at the feeders. That's awesome. So, yeah, and normally during a non COVID year, we'd get together at the Wilbert Cafe in Cotton at 1 p.m. and uh, enjoy an awesome lunch and some pie and uh, tally up our totals, but not this year. So, we're all, all everybody's out, but we're in our own little groups or individuals. <laughs> So yeah, it's starting off nice. I'm walking in this bog because like for years we had blackback woodpeckers in here, even uh, three-toed woodpecker a couple times because there's some tamaracks that are dying and uh, they've been in here looking for larch beetles. But uh, yeah don't hear anything right now and I think these trees are pretty much worked out but you know even if you see something years ago you think I got to go back in there because that's where they're gonna be This is what we're looking for. These tamaracks that have been barked to reveal the orange inner bark. That is the sign of blackback woodpecker, three-toed woodpecker, but also hairy woodpecker. And there are some flakes from on top of the snow that we had last night. So that is a good sign. Well, nice walk in a snowy bog, but uh, no birds at all. <laughs> Did a lot of pishing and squeaking. <laughs> but nothing. And the way to detect blackback woodpeckers is hearing them flake the bark you can walk right up on them but um, to know which direction you need to go you just listen stop and listen but not today not here anyway could be a hairy check it out
boreal chickadee. Two boreal chickadees. Good stop here. Uh, spot you don't, I don't know if I've rarely seen and heard boreal chickadees here, but got two out of a flock of black cap chickadees and they were doing their nasally, like a black cap with a cold chickashnee, chickashnee. And also Sarah and Lori came by. They're the other two in my group and we're all social distancing. So they've got their own routes they're doing today. I also had a couple white wing crossbills fly over, but uh, would like to get some video of them. Hopefully some will sit. Not a big cone crop this year, so not surprising that we don't have a ton of them. Pine grosbeaks gritting right outside my window here. Just picking the grit off the road. Here comes another car. I called ahead to the Wilbert Cafe to get my uh, Wilbert Burger. They have really good food here. I love the Wilbert Burger. And you just call ahead and pick it up. Uh, they also sell our calendars here. So yeah, they're, they're friends of the Sac Zimbug. Oh, does that look good? <laughs> that looks good. Wilbert Burger, onion rings, and a little coleslaw. Hit, uh, hit the trail again. Got some more roads to check. Good food, good food. I love the Wilbert Burger. <laughs> Tiny bit of open water, but almost everything is frozen. Checking out the bison farm, just north of Cotton. And uh, yeah, I was just filming the bison for a little B-roll and a uh, black-billed magpie flew through the frame. So that's pretty cool. They'll definitely be around cattle and uh, so why not bison? Common grackle, crazy. Ooh, a lot of chickadees, a lot of chickadees. Blue jays, red-breasted nuthatch. Pishing and squeaking really brings them in. Got about a dozen chickadees here. A couple blue jays. They just get a little agitated and wonder, what is that noise? And they definitely come in and check it out. Loretta's feeders, and I already got pine gross beaks. Hear them? Nice flock of pine gross beaks. Oh, and there's some evening gross beaks. Not calling, but I can see them perched.
around at Loretta's Feeders. We got our first downy woodpecker of the day. <laughs> uh, more red poles, only the second group of red poles we've had today. And uh, yeah, three more Harry's. I guess there ended up being about 10 pine grosbeaks, four evening grosbeaks, white, another white-breasted nuthatch. Yeah, so Loretta's feeders came through. Rare ice duck. They're here every year for some reason. Pretty much in the same place. It's kind of crazy. Just saw some ermine tracks back there and it got me thinking about uh, some cool sightings I've had in the bog recently. Um, late October I was up here and we had snow on the ground and I was driving on one of the back roads and all of a sudden I saw something whitish pop out of the bog and it was a snowshoe hare. Not fully changed white yet and he starts running north up the road and I kind of jumped out and got my camera and started getting some video and all of a sudden out of the woods pops a, a fisher <laughs> and I've only seen two fisher in the bog and they it's always been late October for some reason and uh, he starts running towards me and uh, they must hunt more by smell than sight because if he would have just looked north he would have seen the hare booking it up the up the road but he kind of worked his way towards me and was sniffing the shoulder and yeah, fun, fun sighting. Um, you know, they're a, they're a big weasel that specializes on porcupines, but uh, they'll take snowshoe hare, you bet, grouse, um, other small mammals. And then another fun sighting was, uh, I guess, late November, November 30th. And some folks had been seeing a short-eared owl on Stone Lake Road and uh, I heard it was up there one day and I just said oh I'll go check it out and ended up spending a few hours with it with some other folks and it just slept the whole day kind of at the base of this log and uh, you know they're dawn and dusk hunters and we don't see them very often either it's you know if we do it's you know late October into November and then it seems like they kind of disappear. Didn't ever look at the <laughs> photographers, um, but he would hear something and just kind of stare off to the open country. They're open country hunters, and he was looking far out on the south side of Stone Lake Road. And then towards dusk, there must be just a certain light level, certain amount of foot candles where they start waking up, and he just all of a sudden got a lot more active, jumped up on a, on a little perch, and uh, and then it just must have hit the right light level, and he took off. Oh, white wing crossbills. A couple really nice sightings. I just thought I'd share them with you. Also wanted to thank all our bog buddies for Give to the Max Day. $90,000 we raised. You guys helped us raise, so thank you so much. That's a, a record for us, and it's going to go to our Acres for Owls Land Fund and other important projects. So thank you so much. I was on my way home and I, of course I took that detour to see that snowy owl and he was there. A snowy owl in its uh, lower 48 natural habitat. <laughs> Power pole overlooking farm fields. But this is a nice white one, probably a male, adult male. And uh, unfortunately it's out of, outside of the Christmas bird count circle, but uh, still fun to see. We don't get a ton of them, usually maybe zero to a couple every winter. So yeah, I hope this guy sticks for a while. Hope he finds some rabbits and grouse and voles to eat. And then, uh, yeah, uh, unexpectedly, a great gray owl hunting along the road. So it was fun getting some slow motion video of that guy. He pounced four times, uh, didn't come up with anything, I don't think, any of those times. But 
uh, kind of perfect conditions for them now. Dead calm and yeah, it's about dusk. Enjoy this great gray owl footage. Um, it's always <laughs> a banner day when you can uh, spend some time with a cooperative great gray. So that was uh, really cool. But overall, the Christmas bird count, I, I had fun. I, although for me, over half the fun is birding with other people. So, um, so I had 100% of half the fun I normally have, okay, if that makes sense. But I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna get everybody's results and I'll let you know what uh, we saw, how we did, how it compares to average, and if we, even came close to breaking that uh, evening grosbeak record. Well, finally got the Sac Zim Christmas bird count compiled. Uh, everybody turned in their numbers and their miles. Uh, our group, I think we had 13 participants and we walked a total of 17 miles. Pretty good at 10 below zero wind chill. And our previous, well, our 34 year average for the count is 29 species, a record is 37 species, and guess what? What, what? We broke that record, 39 species. Yeah, unbelievable. I had some really good stuff. Um, I had what I thought were two really good birds. One bird has never been seen on the count before. I'm gonna save that to the end. Um, I also had a common grackle, only the fifth time we've ever had a grackle, and that was at the bison farm. But Dave Benson and his crew found a two American Robins. That was a record. Uh, at the Olalas, um, there was a Cardinal, and it's been around for a while, and the Olalas have kept it there. So uh, that's only our second Cardinal ever. Um, huge number of chickadees, 564. All that fishing paid off. The previous record was 541, so new record there. Um, yeah, just, uh, you know, all around a really good day. Some other good numbers, three goshawks. We did eke out some rough-legged hawks, even though there's not many around. Um, got a few snow buntings, which I was not expecting them. <laughs> we haven't seen any for a while. Um, Clinton and Christina found a couple blackback woodpeckers. Um, so did Tony, so we had four blackbacks, one great gray owl, the one on Overton. Uh, sadly, we had, well, sadly, or I don't know, it's still exciting. We had four owls that were outside of the circle. Two snowies, a great gray, and a hawk owl. <laughs> so we can't count those, but uh, fun to know that they're around. We had 31 Canada Jays, fourth highest total ever. A uh, couple brown creepers at Winterberry Bog. Um, six boreal chickadees. 16 wild turkeys, that ties our record, but maybe that's not too exciting. <laughs> I'm going to put the uh, all the species at the end of this video so you can just take a look at everything we found. Drum roll please. Yes, the bird that I found at a farm, remote farm, while I was fishing and squeaking and it came out and oh, are you ready for this excitement? I don't know if you can take it. It's pretty exciting. Never before recorded on the Saxon Christmas bird count. Red-bellied woodpecker. Yeah, I'm sure you're a little disappointed. It wasn't something more exotic, but pretty rare bird in the bog in the winter. Well, pretty rare in the summer as well. So that's it. Thanks to all our participants. You'll see them listed at the end here too. We'll see you in the bog. Keep your feet in the bog and your head in the boughs. Keep your, keep your feet in the spruce bog and your head in the spruce boughs, something like that. All right, take care. Evening gross beaks.